going back to Group B, last year's champions and this year's favourites, Vietnam. It's going to be a brave person that puts any bet on Vietnam not winning. Vietnam, the team that's playing in World Cup qualifiers that have had the highest number of competitive matches going into this tournament. 15 of their 23, 24 or so players that won the Suzuki Cup last year are playing this year with new additions coming through from the under 23s fresh from playing highly competitive matches against Australia and Japan and great showings against them as well as against Oman, Saudi Arabia, China, so much more. Vietnam certainly have to be going into this as favourites with Park Hung Siu, Big Uncle Park, taking Vietnam into another Suzuki Cup. I can't see past Vietnam. Vietnam must be, without a doubt, the, the top favourites to win this. Runners up in 98, but they've won it in 2008 and 2018, and with sights on being the new, true kings of ASEAN, it has to be Vietnam. So, who are Vietnam playing? Their first game against Laos, they've got to be looking at picking up the points there. Second match, they're getting a rest. Match day three, they go in against Malaysia, which, as we said when speaking about Malaysia, that was the final in last Suzuki Cup. Then they come up against Indonesia, and then at the end, a tough one and a nice derby head-to-head -head with Cambodia, a match that is always a special match to watch. But I think that Vietnam are just going to have far too much in their locker for every single one of these teams. Korean Uncle Park has got them playing well, and yeah, I, I, I can't see past Vietnam. So out of all of these teams, Thailand, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Timor-Lease, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, who do you think is going to win?